Rocco coming at you with my second 11 up 4.1 full self driving drive. If you haven't watched my videos, you or if you haven't watched my videos, you probably uh, will notice a difference on this road. Uh, we are about to get our road repaved. Um, so we're going to see how it does without lines on the road. No lines at all, it's just um, gravel covered tar, basically. So we're going to see how that works. Lucky I didn't watch my car the other day. I was thinking about it and I was like, well, that would have sucked today. <laughs> um, but, so I think I didn't note in the first video, and again, today worked, is that I'm able to enable full cell driving right away. But we don't have that bug where it constantly has to enable everyone's thing. Oh, you have to calibrate the camera. So we have to do something. No, it's, it was a bug. Um, so that definitely allows us to enable it now. And yeah. Another thing I noticed, and I thought it could have been related to the fact I just got home from another drive, is that the GPS is working a little bit better. The last few drives on 11 that Green S6 were not good. Uh, I noticed it happens most often, happened most often when my car sat for a while. Oh, look at there. Poor GPS location accuracy. Even though it's actually fairly accurate today. Maybe they, I'm pretty sure they changed something in this version. They have, obviously they have changes that aren't, like, you know, aren't, um, in the release notes. Ooh. Okay, so it got, got in. So it's, it's hard to tell if that, like, hard brake right there as it was turning was due to the gravel or due to this poor GPS signal or due to any number of other reasons. I'm not expecting it to turn on the blinker right here. It is merging, uh, the speed acceleration profile seems to be, you know, smoother, if you will. Like, that was that was really smooth getting onto the highway. Uh, it, I still wanted to use a blinker. I, I'm, I've watched Chris's video, I've watched uh, Chuck's video, like, Everyone's in agreement. Like, I'm pretty sure every single um, early beta tester is like, "Yeah, we want blinkers getting onto the highway." Like, we're not a, like we're all in agreement. I, I don't quite understand why Tesla's like it can be heuristic. Just turn the blinker on until it's merged and be done. I, I'm not sure why Tesla's doing it that way it, because it shows intent with the blinker versus the rare scenario you're not merging on the highway. I guess I I don't know. But it's still like it just seems like a relatively simple, even just basic heuristic that it should be able to do that. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is a change. Um, you saw how quickly it was starting to slow down. It's not slowing down as quickly, which is a good thing, at least on the highway. Now, in city streets, I think it should still slow down quickly, but on the highway, it, it needs, that was a much more gradual slowdown from 70 mile an hour to 55 mile an hour before it would just kind of almost jam on the brakes. It was pretty quick. I'm pretty certain it would be quick before. Um, but this is that's a good thing. It shouldn't just slow down massively rapidly. Like, I watched Chuck's video uh, yesterday, and it tried to change the 35 mile an hour on the freeway. If I went from 60 degree right now to 35 all of a sudden, that would just jam on the brakes. If someone was behind me, that's not reasonable. I know you're supposed to give proper following distance, and technically it's probably always their fault, but I'm like, if I were to jam on the brakes down to 30 mile an hour and someone's you know at a reasonable distance at 65 mile an hour behind me, it, that shouldn't be their fault. Um, that's they would hit me because there's no reason at all I'm I should be braking especially if there's nothing in front of me now if it, I guess a deer or something jumped out in front like you would know it but I don't know there's, there's, in my opinion it just shouldn't it shouldn't slow down like that rapidly at all on the highway right fork to stay on route interesting so I, I mean it's, it's taking an exit it's not a it's not a fork um, per se I mean it technically is a fork 
But you know, it's not a fork to continue on to like a different highway section. It's, it's literally getting off the highway. So it's just interesting verbiage. That's definitely new with this version. And um, yeah, this is good. Um, as long as it doesn't swerve back over, yeah. Yeah, so the previous version had the tendency, more so if there were cars at this light already, to swerve over into the right lane, just all of a sudden, uh, as it was getting in the left lane. It just changed his mind all of a sudden. This is good that it's, this is the lane you want to be in, as long as there's no cars here. And then you want to stay in the left lane all the way to the very end um, of the next road. Very good turn with a car next to me. Very nice. And it's slowing down very appropriately for the light. Seems to be looking at slightly further ahead at the light, so that's really nice. Okay, so we have a red light coming up ahead. I can already see this, so I would be slowing down already, but my car is not. Just so look as soon as it starts slowing down. Like, it should definitely already be slowing down. Like, like, the thing is, okay, yeah, it should have slowed down sooner. It should have started slowing down before it got around that bin. It didn't even, uh, previous versions would actually slow, had slowed down a little bit quicker than that. Um, so that was um, a slight unimprovement, like nothing critical, but that, uh, it should slow down sooner for a light like that. So again, we have a yellow light up ahead. I can see way up ahead. You can probably even tell in this video um, that it's a yellow light. So the car it, with its cameras, I know this is 4K and the car is not 4K, but it doesn't matter. Like as a human eye, we can tell with, even if you put it on 144p, you could probably tell that light changed yellow up ahead. It did slow down very appropriately and very smoothly. So that was good. But um, again, it needs to, look really far ahead and I think it's capable of doing it it just doesn't currently okay let's see how it handles this situation we got a car to my right that most likely wants to get in my lane so it's gonna let me go ahead they're probably won't even paying attention okay so this is improved it kept on trying to go in that turn lane to the left right there on the previous version so that's improved um, also it's uh, yeah, it handled the speed profile. I wasn't paying attention, but normally it would accelerate too quickly and it's and then slowed down too rapidly. So that was an improvement. Let's see how it handles going other railroad tracks now it, that we don't have a person in front of us. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> um, that person definitely cut in front of us. That should have been like a honk on the horn. I don't normally do that. I'm not someone who honks on the horn. I pay attention where I'm going before I like let someone know that I'm angry. Like there's no there are no point. Like by time I get to the the thought process, oh I should probably lay on my horn, the scenario is already over. I would much rather put my brain power towards okay, should I break versus like I'm gonna lay on the horn and then break. Like, no, you should break first before you accidentally hit the person that cut in front of you. Anyways, rant over. But, um, yeah, that was a close call. Um, full self driving should have stopped sooner. However, it did stop. Um, it did break um, soon enough to avoid any incident. So that's what matters. Um, as a human, I saw that before full self driving reacted. So it should have reacted sooner. I did press the snapshot button. At least I think I did. <laughs> this point I don't remember um oh yeah so that that fire truck had just passed and moved over a little bit to the right in my lane which is good uh, that is another complaint my mom had is that it wouldn't move over slightly to the right on a big vehicle passing on the left so this is smooth going for here so that's this is this is funny so um my driving saluto wasn't anything special it wasn't terrible by any means but it wasn't great um, it wasn't worse than the version before version 11 for sure, like the 10 versions. It's still better than version 10. But, um, 
unless I jinx us here at this next turn, I'm like, this is doing pretty darn well this morning. Like, there are several improvements. Like, the, I always think, like, this drive, this particular route is so basic. I'm like, ah, oh, there can't be much more that it can improve. And yet it does. What I've noticed, so you can tell, like, those two cars, it's, um, you could tell that it would, if you look at the region line, you can tell, um, that it, you know, wanted to break a little bit. And they've implemented, maybe it was my feedback, maybe not, maybe they just did it. But I had, I had suggested a while back, multiple times, that instead of, you know, jamming on the brakes, um, they would just, you know, use full region or something, or, uh, you know, a little bit of region instead. Um, uh, it's, yeah, it's, okay, I don't want to, personally, I don't like slowing down the 25 right here, but, um, yeah, so they would use full region instead, that would be a lot smoother slowdown, and then if they just used the physical brakes, and that would, um, you know, more than likely still be safe enough. Um, so maybe that's what they did, uh, I'm not sure. It is going too slow right here. But that worked out, okay. Uh, yeah, otherwise that was zero in disengagements, everyone. Um, even with that truck cutting in front of us, that was zero in disengagements. So that's really nice. Um, I think this, I, I'm, I'm gonna make the call that is the best that's ever done this particular drive, which again, I didn't think <laughs> could really be much better, but then it's like, I found all these little things like, you'll see the chapters, if you want to, like, um, look in the comments, you'll see the chapters down below that's just, like, there's all these little improvements that happen. There's a couple, you know, a couple minor regressions, which maybe it was just luck of the draw. There's, there's always, there's always a chance something like that could happen. But, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions for me, put them down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.